Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the fourth annual Kamal ISD Algebra Bowl. Uh, we did round one with two schools already, so this is for the final round. That's right. We had um, Smithson Valley High School go up against Canyon Lake a little while ago, and Smithson Valley did win. And whoever wins this round will go up against Smithson Valley High School. So right now we've got Canyon High School, and we have our early college high school. So we're going to give you a chance to um, do a quick shout out or a cheer. So Canyon High School, if you'll unmute and give us a shout out. All right. <laughs> All right. Way to be excited. <laughs> and let's hear uh, our early college high school. Let's hear a cheer from you guys. Yay. Okay. So they're ready to go. Well, we're going to get right to it. We're going to give you... Um, the rules of the game, and, uh, and then we'll get started. That's right, and so now if we can make sure that uh, your mics are muted, you have good help today from uh, your campus instructional facilitators who are there to make sure everything runs smoothly. So if we can make sure those mics are muted. All right, so uh, there are three rounds. Uh, the first round consists of 40 questions, and they are worth one point apiece. That's right, and then round two consists of 35 questions, but those are worth two points each. And then in round three, it's 30 questions, but they are three-point questions. And we have seen a lot of matches won in that last round because of those three-point questions. Absolutely. Uh, each of those rounds are 10 minutes long. And in that 10 minutes, not only do you need to answer the questions, but you need to have the answer document bubble That's within right. that 10-minute time and frame. And for you. Um, remember, you are allowed to use a calculator, pencil, formula chart, scratch paper, highlighters, those types of testing materials. Uh, but no cell phones, please. We'd like the cell phones turned off and put away. Um, and obviously, no help from the teachers. We will give you some warnings throughout the time. I will come on and give you a five-minute warning. We'll give you a one-minute warning, which is kind of that cue to make sure you have your answers bubbled, and then a five-second countdown. That's right. And I think that pretty much covers it. Are there any questions from the students? Is that a question that can... All right, then let's go ahead and get started for round one. Once we have those envelopes ready with the questions and the answer document, give me a thumbs up. All good, Canyon's ready. Early College is ready. Ten minutes on the clock. And you may begin. Good luck, everyone.
Students, this is your five-minute warning. Students, this is your one minute warning. All right, All right students. pencils down, everyone. Pencils down. Woo! 
Woo, yeah, they're good. Make sure you <laughs> hand over those answer documents to your facilitators for scanning. Clean up all those questions and put them in that old uh, envelope and get ready for the new. That's right, and as we get ready for round two, why don't we introduce a few people? Sounds good. Uh, we'll start at the early college high school where I see that one of their algebra teachers there, uh, Ms. Hopkins. Can we get away, please? There, there she, she is. is. And I believe their instructional facilitator helping out today is Ms. Spinks. And we certainly appreciate all that she's hey, doing for us. Hello. <laughs> And then over at Canyon High School, we have the teacher, Mr. Kazi. I think he's sitting over there. If we can get away from him, I uh, scoot it there. in. Hey, there he is. All right. And their facilitator is Miss Hester, and she's been a trooper with us, I think, all week that's long. Right. She's been there every day, been at one of the schools at least, so that's been great. Yep, so let's go ahead and get ready for the next round. Okay, once we have those envelopes ready, uh, can we get a thumbs up to show us that we're ready to go? And a reminder that this round is worth two points. All right, I see thumbs up at Canyon. Thumbs up at Memorial Early College, I think. Yes, there it okay. is. All right, 10 minutes on the clock. And you may begin round two. Good luck, everyone.
students, this is your five minute warning. Students, this is your one minute warning. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, get those pencils down. 
Turn over that answer document for scoring. Great job. And I think, uh, speaking of scores, I think we have the scores as they stood after round one. So why don't we take a look at those? Ooh, close game. Very close game. That's a very strong round one, too. 36-34, Canyon leading by two points. And remember, the answer document you just turned in, those questions are worth two points apiece. That's right. So that's just a one-question difference at this point. And then the next round is three points. So if you're wondering here, uh, we have our trophy. Um, this is what's going to go to the winner of the, the competition, and uh, that'll spend an entire year on that campus. Yes, and um, it was at Canyon Lake High School this past year. That's right. Uh, so who knows where it will go this year. Um, we do want to remind everyone, or maybe you don't know this, but we are streaming live. Uh, we've actually been watching it from the Internet ourselves. And so if you want to wave, Maybe somebody's watching, a mom, or I did see somebody's grandparents are watching, so yes. make sure you wave to them. I know my mom's watching. We have a Go Johnny there, so I believe that's at early college. So, <laughs> so um, just remember that, but we're going to head into round three. That's right. So if we, as soon as we get those envelopes ready with the questions and answer document for round three and we get a thumbs up, we'll begin. We'll go ahead and ask for that Let's 10 see. minutes on the clock. I see a thumbs up at Canyon High School. Saw a thumbs up at early college. And I see the envelope ready to roll. All right, 10 minutes on the clock, and you may begin round three.
morning. Students, this is your one minute warning. You have one minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Pencils down. Great job, students. Yes. 
Yes, so submit that final round to your technology facilitator for scoring. That's right, and while we wait for that, I think we should take a look at the scores as they stood after round two. Yes, let's see this. Still a very close game. Still very close. If you think about that, in round three questions, those are three points apiece, so it's really a two-question game. That's right, and let's uh, talk about what happens in case there is a tie, uh, because that is possible here. So what we'll do in, in the if we have a tie is give each group a question. It'll be posted on your screen. Uh, it won't be multiple choice. It'll be an open-ended question and each team gets one minute to answer it, submit their answer. Whoever gets the, the question right, uh, then we'll break the tie. And if, if they both get it right, we just move on to another question. We do it again. Absolutely. So while we are waiting on scores, we did a little research this week on your principles and got some fun facts to share with you about things you may not know about them. Right. Why don't we start with the early college high school and your principal, Miss Carlene. Who apparently, there she is, who apparently loves to sing in the car. And more importantly, if you pull up next to Miss Carlene and she's getting down in the car, she really would like for you to do the same with her. <laughs> That's right. So, so dance along when you see her. And I thought I saw her walk through, but I don't know if she's still there. Is Miss Carlene still hanging out? No, she left. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, luckily for you, you're students and not plants, because apparently Miss Carlene is not very good at keeping up with plants, and they tend to die when she's in charge. Now, she did want to mention that her trees are fine. Oh, good. But her plants, it's a great thing. She uh, donates bone marrow, and she, uh, she's gotten to donate for someone that she didn't know, and then ended up getting to meet them later. Uh, and she's a big advocate for Be The Match, and there's a, a website for that called BeTheMatch.org. Yeah, you should check that out. It's a really neat thing that she yep. does. Um, so why don't we move over to Canyon High School, too, and their principal, Mr. Brown. There he is. Uh, Mr. Brown, you may not know, he's not, a, he's not a Texan, wasn't born a Texan. He was born and raised in Evansville, Indiana. And, uh, you know, he was a basketball player and a soccer, ball, a soccer player in high school. Very good. And he, his uh, favorite music? Students, if you don't know this, his favorite mu music is anything by Jimmy Buffett. Maybe they should play some Jimmy Buffett on that last <laughs> day of school to get everybody in go. the summer spirit. There you go. <laughs> and we wanted to mention, too, give a shout out to our Teachers of the Year. Each year, campus um, has a, an opportunity to choose someone that's an advocate for students, which they all are, but someone who just goes that extra mile. And so we want to uh, give a shout out to our Teacher of the Year at, morning, uh, at Memorial Early College. It is Miss St. John. So if you see her in the hallway, give her a pat on the back and tell her congratulations. Very good. And then over at Canyon High School, we have Miss Shannon, who was our Teacher of the Year. So same thing. If you see her, uh, tell her congratulations. Give her a nice pat on the back. Yes, and they did a nice banquet for them last week and treated them real, real well, you know, give yeah. them some dinner and stuff like that. Um, we did want to mention, just in case you weren't aware, that uh, we have a four-day weekend this weekend. We do not have school tomorrow or Monday. That is a nice thing. It is a nice thing. We were hoping to maybe get in that pool this weekend, but I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see what the weather is like. We'll have to see what that weather is looking like for sure. And then I think we're, I mean, I think we're counting down school by two hands at this point. That's I'm not right. sure how many yeah, days so we have left, but a four-day weekend right, be, right before a long summer vacation. That's very, very uh, deserved by all of our students and teachers. I bet everybody's just ready and um, ready to plan those summer events and. I don't know. Are you, what do you got going on this weekend? I know you moved into a new house. Or yeah, I, I, just moving into a new house, so I'll spend most of the time uh, taking care of that, but uh, I'm happy to do that. That'll be fun. And I'm sure um, people will frequent Schlitterbahn maybe this summer. I'm not sure what everybody does, but uh, I know Schlitterbahn's pretty crazy during the summer months. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, we're still waiting on those scores, so we wanted to mention, I don't know if you can tell from way out there, but we are... Uh, Shelly and I are both wearing our college shirts. Um, I don't know if you can really see, but this is my TLU Bulldog shirt. Uh, I did go to Texas Lutheran, not too far from, from New Braunfels. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, it's, oh. A, it's a, a fellow <laughs> TLU um, uh, I think he's something door? else. I think oh, that's maybe something not. Different. Oh, he's, uh... I think he's proud of uh, being a Bobcat, I'm guessing. Or something. Well, I will have to say I am wearing a Texas State local college shirt. However, I'm quite the traitor because I went to St. Houston State University myself, um, but I was worried about that bright orange <laughs> on, the shirt, on, the, on the screen today. And um, I think we both got our master's degree through Lamar University. Lamar University, that's right. Yep, and um, so now 
now, as freshmen, thinking about going to your sophomore year, you really need to start planning for those college years and getting that SAT out of the way. That's right. You, you start, start looking at those SATs and ACTs and uh, getting ready to start you know, thinking about who you're gonna, where you're going to apply and what you need to do. Uh, your counselors are a great support to go to to help you understand the steps that you need to do each year to get ready for college. And I believe at early college, they had that opportunity to earn some of those um, hours as well That's from St. Right. Phillips. Am I correct? That's right. They, they, gonna, they have a chance to get plenty of hours uh, to kind of get started, get a little head start. And, you know, you can do the same at Canyon. There are quite a few dual credit options. Um, if you don't know much about the dual credit program, uh, see your counselor, uh, see your academic dean, someone like that can help you learn more about what you can do as far as earning college credits for free while in high school. Wow, what a great opportunity. I would have loved that when I was in school right. uh, to get those hours out of the way. And, and knowing by your junior year that if you're planning to go to college, you should start that process of applying and working on those scholarship um, letters and all of those good things that go with it. And again, your counselors. Uh, and at Canyon High School next year, we'll have a program called AVID that's starting there. And they will also be a resource for students. And, uh, and if you take the course, they will actually use the day to write your applications and, and fill all that out and support you in that. That's right. If you're not familiar with the AVID program, it will be coming to your campus next year at Canyon. So make sure to ask some questions about that. It's a really neat program uh, to help kind of get prepared for that next step. And I know that early college, I know there's a course in particular that is for college and career readiness, and they might have to take it as a freshman. Right, I believe, I believe it is the freshmen that, that take it, so you guys I'm sure know what course we're talking about. Uh, getting ready, there you go. <laughs> they've got the thumbs up the saying that. The maps course, is that right? They've been there, done that, they've taken that and got it out of the way, <laughs> good for them. So um, one more time, I just want to reiterate the, the trophy um, here sitting, waiting to determine who it will go to next. Um, since Canyon Lake did not win that first round. We know that it will be leaving their ca campus. I know sad for them. That's right. It spent the last year at Canyon Lake, so now it's going to go somewhere else. That's yet to be determined, but once we get these final round scores, we'll know who goes against Smithson Valley at 1 o'clock today or 1.30. One, um, I believe it is at 1.05. Oh, 1 1.05 is our next round. So if you want to tune in, um, eat even if you don't win this round, you can actually go to the Comal webpage and click. It's an easy click. There's a little button that says Algebra Bowl, right. and it live streams from YouTube. And uh, you can actually watch the event happen just like we've been doing today. That's right. And we've had quite a few viewers today and comments and cheers for different for the different schools. And it's been really fun. Yes. Unfortunately, you'll have to listen to us again. <laughs> uh, but we will try not to repeat ourselves in the next or the final round of this afternoon. And it's such an exciting thing when they do win. I know our uh, communications department comes out and, and does a big spread on who, who the winners are and puts it on the page and, and the home page as well. So um, <laughs> we're, still, we're having a, a little bit of difficulty with the score, so we're still waiting on those. So I, we appreciate the patience. Um, again, if you want to do a shout out or a wave to someone who might be watching uh, at home, we are looking at the viewers. Um, let me see what, if I can find out. We have quite a few viewers watching at this point. I think uh, one screen says one thing and another over here, but 17 or 18 people are currently watching. So it could be someone related to you. And Mimi and Papa Hogan are saying to go, saying go Johnny. So. Uh... I believe that's at early college. So. Yes, yeah, so do we know who that is? Uh, give us a wave if you want to wave to whoever that might be responding to you. John, is Johnny on, on the team? Is there a Johnny? At, hey! hey. Johnny. <laughs> you can even put up a little sign if you'd like uh, to say hello to them if you need to. <laughs> so um, with two weeks left of school, you know, we're really winding things down, but it seems like a lot of campuses have things going on with people coming in to visit. I was over at one of the high schools and actually saw a middle school group come over to swim. <laughs> so hopefully there's a lot of um, a lot of good stuff happening. I, I believe right now even the uh, eighth graders moving up into Canyon High School and you guys can relate because you were there just a year ago. Uh, they're here visiting the campus and Mr. Brown is addressing them and uh, kind of getting to know what they're getting into. Uh, always, you know, when those kids come up, now that you've had a year of experience, you know, make sure to help them out. Um, Teach them what's, what they need to know for, for school, to be in high school, for that transition. And, uh, you know, you, you start to become one of the leaders of the campus. I think that's great advice because um, you're, you've all been there. 
once, and with being freshmen moving into that sophomore year, you remember it very well, what it was like coming in from different middle schools and seeing people you've never seen before. It's kind of a scary thing to them. It's true. Yeah, so um, it looks like we finally have the score oh, in. All right. So uh, are y'all ready? Drum roll, please. Ooh. Woo, wow. 149. Up to 155. It looks like Canyon High School has won a great job, both teams. You should be very proud for making it to the Algebra Bowl. That's right. And we we and appreciate continue. all your work, and, uh, and congratulations to Canyon. We'll see you at 105 for the finals. Yep, so y'all have a great day. Have a great four-day weekend. I'm Shelly Crawford. I'm Josh Riccio.